Hi there, and welcome back to Pokemon Nuzlocke. Really sorry for that uh, briefest of brief hiatuses. Um, just the constant recording and editing pretty much every night to try and get some sort of release schedule going really was wearing me out. So, I'm coming with a new schedule now. I'm going to go for 30 minute episodes each time, and I'm going to try and release a couple of them each week, and we'll see how that goes. We may revert back to the old format. We may not. I'm also using some new hardware this time. I've got myself a brand new microphone. Hopefully the clarity's better. I've done a few little tests with it. We'll see how it goes. So, uh, as you can see, I did a little bit of grinding with Rockbutt. Got him up to level 20. Or her up to level 20. I can never remember the gender symbols. I think that's female. A female Geo dude. That just sounds wrong in my head. Um, so now we're going to continue along Route 207. I'm fairly sure that's a double battle. But I wonder, can I talk to one of you? Hope I've chosen right. I hope all the sound quality is coming through fine. Because, um... I've, uh, I'm not really experimented enough, I guess, with this microphone. I did pick right, excellent. I knew one of them has a ponytail, one of them has a pachirisu. Yeah, still does seven damage, that's stronger than I thought. And that really doesn't do as much as I hoped it would. Ugh. Okay, carry on with that. So what's new? Not a huge amount, really. I guess E3 is going on at time of recording. Um, maybe by the time I release this, everything will have wrapped up. Some interesting IPs. Obviously Fallout 4. Everyone's excited for Fallout 4. I'm excited about Mirror's Edge 2. I loved the first game. I know it had a lot of its critics. I love it. And one that really came out of nowhere. Um, I'm recording this on Tuesday, and a friend of mine, yay, little up, uh, a friend of mine messaged me this morning on Facebook saying here, something crazy is going on, and it was Shenmue 3 being put up on Kickstarter. And it had only been up for a few hours, and it was 1.5 million into its 2 million goal. Fantastic! I love the original game so much. My words can't describe how much I love them. Uh, so I am really excited for that. I know it's going to be 2017 before we see it. They can take as much time as they need. I'd rather have a great finished product. Okay, you should have a Pachirisu. And after this, I think it's all rock and steel. Through here. Yeah. What else is new? Well, I went out to see um, Jurassic World. And I went in with no expectations. I'm still so sore from the fourth Indiana Jones movie. I went in expecting nothing. And I came out massive grin on my face. I love that movie so, so much. <laughs> Words cannot describe how much I love that movie. So, all in all, a good time. Right, okay, I think we have mainly rock Pokemon to go on with and steel. I imagine electric's good against steel. I hope this doesn't make too much noise. I guess I am cheating a little bit. I've got some cheat sheets up in front of me now about what's good. Uh, okay, so... Steel type. Sorry, two seconds. Uh, fire, fighting and grind are super effective against steel. Okay. So we'll go with Belknap out for now. Because why not? Yeah. 
I know the idea of Nuzlocke is to challenge yourself as much as possible, but I'm trying to tip some of the odds back in my favour. I'm really gutted I didn't get that Ponyta, so... Mount Corone! Um, actually I can't remember if I said it at the start. New background! Enjoy! Thought it would be a nicer way of displaying the info. So yeah, I mean that's pretty much the important entertainment news. news. All caught up. Hey, I need to go build up. Yeah, I just, I guess it's a good idea to talk more over these things than just having. I can't even get any attack points in there. Uh, I need to find out something to talk about. Hey, here's the steel guy, Bronzor. Which you think wouldn't be steel, you know, being bronze. Bell up, you've got some. And you've got normal and grass. Okay. Rock butt. And we're heading for. I can't remember what gym we're heading for next. Hypnosis. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, don't fall asleep. Snap out of it, you stupid rock. Saw that. Okay. Now, this is not going well. Um. Um. This is not going how I saw this going. I mean, Bronzor. Is a steel type? Oh, dual steel psychic, of course. And I'm willing to bet it's psychic types. Oh, these are some really, really cheap double typing going on here in this game, I've noticed. Bug Ghost and Dark is super effective against psychic. Firefighting Grind. Also, Bug Rock are. Um, not effective at all against steel. And fighting is not very effective against psychic. Right. Fire, fighting, grind. Fire. Right. Sticking with rock butt. For better or worse. For richer or poorer. Magnitude. Oh, please don't hit yourself. Yes! Oh, come on! Hmm. So, my, the one effectiveness I had left against this guy is completely nullified. Okay. This flying... Flying is... Not put in any weak spot by either of these types. So I'm just going to have to out-level it, I guess. Oh. I really do wish I had that Ponyta, because fire's fantastic against steel, and isn't nullified by Psychic. Don't you do that. Okay, Lamrid. Um... Yeah, go for that. <laughs> That's a bit better. Not very effective! Oh god, no. So what is... Oh, steel, of course, not very effective against... But, um, flying is nullified by steel, of course. Oh, quick attack. Oh, Lamrid, you gotta wake up.
As long as we don't get confused and start hitting ourselves, that's probably going to be fine. In prison? What's that? Yes! <laughs> Normal. Confuse Ray, there we go. Now we have a confused bird. Who's just going to have to tough it out, I think, for now. Please don't hit yourself. Damn it! <sighs> Ooh, that was painful. Yes! Come on, please be enough, please be enough, please be enough. Damn it! Now you're fast asleep again. I'm just I'm running through my team in my mind and everything that's weak against steel I have that is, is nullified by psychic and the other way around. Everything that's strong against psychic is nullified by this guy's steel type. Ugh. Belknap. You started this fight, may as well finish it. <laughs> what? What? Is Psychic super effective against grass? This is some crazy bullshit. Oh, are you... Are you actually kidding me? It's so ineffective. There's a grass-type move. Ah, oh, yeah, nullified by steel, I guess. Yeah, you bugger off, Bronzor. You know, it didn't take much to beat you. Took half my bloody team. Hang on. Hey. Because that was some cheap ass bullshit, I'm going back to heal. Ridiculous. Bronzor. One of these days I'm gonna come back with a fire type. I'm gonna melt your stupid bronzor. So next is youngster Austin. off with a starly. I feel bad to have to do this. Oh. Yeah, yeah that's the button I'm looking for. Okay. Now we're going inside. Okay, Mount Coronet. Now the problem here we have Mount Coronet is a big place. It has a lot of room, a lot of length to it, but it's all Mount Coronet. It's all one place. Whichever I face first in here, provided it's not a Geo dude or a Zubat, I have to catch. I could use my repels. I don't know how far I have to go in here. I don't even know what's available in here. I'm just going to have a little look and see. I guess we're... That 
night time. Zubats. Matchops, I've got. Geodudes, I've got. Claffa, small chance. Nose pass. Nose pass, I'm feeling I hate nose passes. But it's pure rock. That's probably fine. map of Mount Coronade to get through. How long before this starts taking the piss? I mean, do I even have to go? Well, yeah, I guess I have to go through the Hearthome City. Let's maybe, okay, let's leave Belknap at the front. make our way through. Match up! Pokemon series. I really do. But sometimes I think it just pulls some bullshit. I guess you maybe don't want to base your entire game around type effectiveness. But when swapping Pokemon out always gives your opponent a free hit. You get yourself into a problem situation. Not very effective, that was pretty effective. But you get yourself in a problem situation where you have to swap Pokemon out to try and get something going. And it's made especially worse on another luck run, and you've made a rule saying, no, I can't use healing items in battle, because I'm an idiot. Grass poison. I keep thinking these pure. First of all, I thought it was bugs, then I thought it was pure grass. Now I know it's grass poison. Okay. Let's see if there's anything around. Nope. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay, okay so this is happening. Okay. So you apparently had words. You came out of nowhere. Zubat! Probably knows bite. Probably doesn't know any flying type moves. Marnel up! Nerf my experience. This is the worst place ever to level up an electric Pokemon. Blah! Spark it! Yeah. Super hats. They give so little experience. Okay. Ooh, there's an item there. I'm not gonna go get it though. Another Zubat. I'd switch Monolop up front, but knowing me and my luck, as soon as I do, a Geo dude would come out. So, you know. That ain't happening. Leech life. That old trick. I haven't really done anything yet. You know, I haven't hit you yet. It's not really worth leeching life. Not even at 2 HP anyway. Yeah. So we 
even less than 57 experience each. 54. That one level took three experience away from both guys. Okay. Could have rock smashed my way through there, I guess, but I'm getting out of this. Route 208! It's a brand new area. You know what that means? Yeah? You do know what that means. It means new Pokemon. And of course, it means I have to look up what's on Route 208. And predictably, it's all crap. It's all crap. I could get a Bibarel. I don't want to get a Bibarel. I could get a Psyduck. I don't want to get a Psyduck. Ralts is only in Platinum. Meditate? I guess. Why are all the Pokemon in this area so crap? Like, Route 206 is the only area that had anything decently new with a chance to get a Ponyta. <sighs> okay, so we've got some guys with Geodudes and Machops and Onyxes and stuff like that. <sighs> You're going to be a geodude guy, I know it. <laughs> I'm just a little kid. You know, I bet I wouldn't have gotten into this hiatus and funk thing if I'd had a chance to catch some decent Pokemon. But I really don't remember there being this little variety within the first quarter of the game in any other generation, I really don't. I mean, this is shocking to me, just how little variation there is. Uh, it's all the same each time round. Maybe want to get past Hearth Home. Yeah, maybe I'll just leave catching anything on Route 208. I mean, chances are anything that crops up is something I've got, so I'm not going to have much choice. Maybe I'll just head straight on to Hearth Home City. Yay! At some point, Belknap, you're going to have high friendship and you're going to evolve. You're going to get yourself some stat boosts. That guy will have a matchup. A fighting Pokemon, I'm sure. <laughs> Lambrid's time to shine. Up. It wouldn't surprise me if he threw out something that was part fighting, part grass, part fire. Just so all my effectiveness were useless. Maybe it's just because I'm doing a Nuzlocke run, but I think this is the first time I've really had this much trouble at the start of a game. And I don't know if it's because of the lack of variety in the Pokemon you can catch in the first quarter. Or if it's because... of the fact that I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> because of the... Because of... Time. What is going on with this? a rock climb move or something. You'll have onyxes. And do I hit you with Belnop or Splurphy? Splurphy! No, get your own food. You know, is it because of the Nuzlocke rules? Is it because of the 
stupid type combinations that I've seen. So, I don't know. But the challenge is really setting in now. I don't normally use healing items in battles anyway, I guess. Wow. I was more effective against, against Onyx than it was Ponyta. And the Ponyta was lower level. I, I always consider them a waste of a turn because chances are you, know, you you use a healing item and it crits you the next turn round and you end up kind of screwed. Rock smash! Pokeball! You want to give me something that isn't a Pokeball? Like a Great Ball? Something like that. Okay, I don't know who you are and I don't know what you're going to have. But I think you might be the aroma lady who has a combi which is bug flying and a rosilia which is grass poison so I'm thinking we go with lamb red again you know this is probably against the nuzz well it's, I mean it's not specifically against the nuzlocke rules or maybe against the nuzlocke spirit to uh, have it to have a cheat sheet cheat sheet open Seeing what's uh, what's, a, what's available on each route and who's coming up, but I figure I got to put something in my favour, don't I? Combi, yeah, it's kind of cute for a three-faced honeycomb with no attack power. Moments like these, though, to make Nuzlocke worth doing. Just plowing through and kicking everything's ass. Blazulia. Having the battle style set to set also makes life a bit more difficult. Mm. Um. I normally play on Switch. I normally leave everything on default. The only thing I ever change is the text speed. Yay! Um, so I'm used to being asked if I want to change Pokemon when the opponent changes Pokemon. So the worst thing I have to do is, if it's a Pokemon I don't know, I have to guess. So... guy down there who's flipping back and forth he has a he has a fairy fighting type did I read that right psychic fairy sorry uh, I would normally go after him with a bug type move and I'll get nullified by the fairy hopefully neither of them are very effective against bug anyway so Marlop's got some dark moves actually, but they're not very, they're nullified by fairies. I mean, I guess, yeah, it makes you think a bit more. Okay, let's, let's go with a different move. What are they not good against? They're not good against psychic and steel, fire, poison, steel. Great! Belknop's poison. Psychic is super effective against poison. <sighs> so Belknop stays out of it at the very least. No, oh, maybe I maybe I just I overpower you with fight with flying. Yeah, doesn't crop up in any of the pros and cons. So. Let's have at ye. Let's just overpower you with sheer levels. I don't know what your second one is. A Bonsley, I think. Rock type baby Pokemon. Great. At least I know I can switch out to something that can do some damage. Wow! Okay. 
I did not see that going so well. Mime Junior is pants. Terrible, terrible, terrible Pokemon. And you, Bonsley, you will fall too. Ooh, the Ghost Glorfear Bell Hop. Let's have a quick look at the stats, actually, quickly compare them. <laughs> Man, Belknap, you've got to level up. Yeah, Belknap's got to level up to get some stats. How many rocks can kick? Really? That's absurd. Really is absolutely absurd. I'll have all that HP back. Thank you very much. Whoop! <laughs> it's like the worst low kick animation as well. It's this black, vague foot shape. <laughs> yeah. So if you hear my phone going bzzz a couple of times, by the way, I know I should turn my phone off when I'm doing these, but I'm not that professional. I'm recording this in a spare room, come on. I'm sure you can hear from the horrible echo around. I don't exactly have a professional operation going on here. Magnificent! Hey, Arsalom City! Oh, oh I, I spy a fighting guy. Labrid! Wait, but you're not on my list. Okay. And onwards into the city. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>